back. I know I recently, or not recently, it's been a while ago, made a video saying I'm back and then I kind of went AYA on you again. And the reason for that is because of everything that has happened so far. Um, if you're unaware of what happened, I, I assume you were watching this a long time from now, but most people know what is going on. So for the most part, I know a lot of people since everything has changed and we've kind of started staying at home more, they've been like really busy, really active. And um, I'm getting into that now that it's been a while, but I will say that it kind of made me super lazy. Um, I did make a video about this and I might still post it, but it was raining really, really bad so you might not be able to hear me. So I'm going to go ahead and say it again. Uh, but I've really just been spending time with my family. My dad has a job where he has to go to work and my mom has been furloughed for a while. So she's been here with me and so we've just been hanging out and I haven't really felt like doing that much as far as like recording videos and things like that. I haven't really wanted to like go through the process of filming anything, but I am going to make a video today, obviously, and I'm going to be putting out videos because I finally got to where I'm like ready to do things. I'm ready to start cleaning, I'm ready to start crafting, I feel like it's, it's, it's happened. I've been wondering like what's going on, but just over like the last few days I've, I guess I got to the point where I'm just like, okay, it's time. So in today's video, hold on, let me show you. We are going to be making this. It's super cute. Um, it is a fizz protector from germs and bacteria. Uh, it's really nice. It's reversible. It's, you know, really easy to make. Super simple. Uh, super simple design, but it's really nice because it goes over your nose. I'll insert pictures at the end of this of what it looks like on a face. Um, because this one is actually for somebody else. I don't want to put it on my face. And so I'll go step by step and show you how to make this. And it's really, really easy. And I will also see if I can make a PDF for like the different sizes because I've noticed a lot of people have one and then they like, like you can like make it bigger or smaller but I actually made this into like multiple sizes because I made it for multiple people. Even like really 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 small like down to like baby size practically because I have like some very young cousins. But um, so I'm going to show you how to make this so let's get into it. All right. <laughs>
So this is what the mask look like. Um, this one is just really plain. I kind of like the traditional white color, so this one is for me. And I made it with, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a hearty, like really nice cotton that had hearts in it. And then this is just white muslin, or, you know, cotton fabric. And they fit really comfortably. As you can see, they go up around the eyes and around the ears and pretty far down on the chin, so. I tried out a lot of different versions of masks and I kind of had to make this pattern myself. Um, the original pattern was just to have like the bottom and the top be the same. So I'll show you what that would look like. It would come up. Hold on, my hair is in the way. It would come up, but this portion right here, it kind of like bothered me so I decided to make it where it comes down around the eyes like this so I hope you guys like that and I hope you make the mask and if you make the mask yay and I hope you enjoyed this video and I like I said we'll see if I can make a PDF for the pattern